Oh, can we have this on camera? <laughs> Thank you very much. I was right. Yeah, but it's this side. It's coming that way. Ah. Oh, so what I got was like the the tip of the. Ah. See? Yeah. Just bought a brand new washing machine. The old one broke, so I got rid of it this morning. I'm gonna pick this one up, plumbed it in. One of the valves didn't shut off, and I flooded the hallway. So I just uh, got it all sorted. I mean, we're li literally talking a few inches. So that was the offending valve. Now I changed it not that long ago. I took the old um, pipe off, inlet water feed. I thought oh, there's a little bit of pressure there, and then boom, <laughs> at it come. And I struggled to get it back on, but yeah, I isolated it in the kitchen and uh, had a good mop up. Yeah, what do you think of your new telly? Do you like it? Sam, I never know until she watches this video. <laughs> She's out of the minute shopping. I had to drive all over the place this morning to try and find a, a washing machine, but eventually got one. Yeah, everything's sort of spaced out around here. It's not that local like it is in England, so. Yeah, it took me a, a few hours to locate one, but I got one. Yeah, my old washing machine wasn't that, I say old, wasn't that old really. Probably five years old. The bearing went and it kept tripping out, so. Things don't last now, do they? It wasn't a cheap one either. Okay, talk of lasting. My ride on has lasted. Now, that was good value for money. Now, have I put the curse on it? Will it start? So it's growing roots. There we go. should it? <laughs> if you can call it work. It's got to be done though. Now we're in the mini orchard stroke allotment and Tom is doing the new bed for the potatoes. Yeah I'm just digging the turfs out to put potatoes in. Brilliant. Making good progress mate. Yeah, cheers. Right I've got a cut round here so part of the idea of planting this up in the centre is so it's easier for me to cut with a ride on. Really I just want to go around the outside. Don't want to have to go you know, in the in between the trees and and all that. This looks like a rubbish pile, but it's a compost heap. So what's happening here is there's a lot of compost underneath, and we're just putting the turfs and cardboard over the top, and then we're going to get some black plastic and cover it over just to help the breakdown the process. Heat. Yeah, it's yeah, to the heat, heat up. up and the microbial cool. Uh, <laughs> reaction yeah. to basically break it all down and make it good soil to plant in next year. Now this blossom is slows. Maybe we'll have a go at making slow gin one day. What's slows? Like sort of inedible berries, really, like, like a small plum type thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So what, what what exactly is slow gin? Is it like a drink? Yeah, you have to ferment the slows in the vodka. Is it vodka or gin? Or gin. Or gin. Oh, yeah. gin, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That sounds, like that sounds quite drinking. nice. Yeah. Yeah. You can, I suppose you could do it with uh, vodka. Maybe in slow vodka. Yeah, slow vodka. Who knows? Yeah. Right. Okay. What about Calvados? Oh no! Stay off of that. <laughs> right. Crazy juice. Crazy juice, definitely. What's these coming up here, Tom? You've so, got... yeah, so there's about 36 onions planted in here. 
and um, there's some celeriac there from uh, last sort of summer as well that are now sort of fully matured. Yeah, they're quite quite big, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, I'll do something then. It's a little bit shallow for them, maybe. I think it's bad, but um, you no. know, still a nice sort of crop. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice in soups and that Definitely, sort of thing. Definitely, yeah. So what are we going to plant in that bed there, well, the bit, new one? In the new one there, um, I think maybe something like uh, courgettes, um, zucchinis. What are you getting there, three? No, you'd, you'd probably get easily five, yeah, I think. I think you sort of have... Now you maybe. can't have them overgrowing the edge though, because I come through on my ride on, remember? Yeah. So probably one there and a couple up here. And yeah, then maybe something else. Yeah, plant sort of a bit more vertical growing. Yeah, maybe, maybe some corn or something. Yeah. The leaves aren't too, you know, it's not too much to worry about the leaves. They make loads of leaves in all different directions. Yeah, and uh, that's what know, worries me. <laughs> well, they're sort of higher up, they're higher up, and you know, it shouldn't be an issue really. Well, um, I'll just... But yeah, I'll plant them in maybe sort of along, along this sort of section. Yeah. This is basically like a stepping stone. Yeah. Putting this bench just to sort of access. Yeah, good idea. Parts, Don't yeah. forget to weed that one, will ya? No, of course, yeah. Now, I think the rhubarb that I've got was from the farmer at the Grenier one day, he was there, and I think it's green rhubarb. It's not as red as some of the varieties. But yeah, that should be uh, coming up fairly soon, yeah. There's one there. Planted a lot of seed, didn't you, and they're really coming on. Yeah, yeah, the seeds are doing quite well in the greenhouse. Yeah, um, he's got more patience than me with seeds. There's some melons that are coming up, courgettes as well. Really? I mean, we, yeah, tomatoes, a lot of tomatoes. We're growing like heritage variety. Varieties, yeah, you save the seeds, can't you? Marmond. Yeah, we've yeah. Got, yeah, yeah, so you can basically reuse the seeds from the plant that you harvest because um, unfortunately a lot of hybrid. Um, Seed varieties are hybrid, yeah. Only just use them just once, to yield you? like a better sort of Crop. stronger plant and a nicer fruit. They take the different characteristics yeah. of both. That's okay sometimes, yeah. but we prefer the heritage variety. Yeah. Right, okay. kind of like a, you know when they breed like a lion and a tiger together. <laughs> you get like a liger <laughs> yeah. or a horse and a donkey. You get us. <laughs> <laughs> right, so do the same. That's enough of that. I know where this is heading. <laughs> where? <Well, yeah. laughs> okay. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about that other job, Tom. What, digging for gold? <laughs> it needed doing though, didn't it? We had a yeah. lot of rain lately and the edges around here have come in a little bit. Yeah, the clay. And just sort of filled up around the outlet so of the foss, so we're just yeah, digging out. Yeah, the wastewater system. So we can uh, safely evacuate the water from the system. But it was soaking away, but it needs to be a lot quicker. So yeah. Today, I'm digging down in the foss pit. Yeah. <laughs> it's not actually the foss pit. When the water comes out this end, it's been filtered, it's gone all through different stages. Um, uh, what's it called? Anaerobic reaction in the foss tank itself, and it gets filtered through a sand bed. By the time it comes out here, it's actually clean. Yeah. Here. I mean, we'll you drink could drink it. that water, couldn't you? Well, that was the old joke, but no way. Bold water's too cheap to take the risk. <laughs> but it's flowing, I mean, yeah. look how clean it is. Yeah, and you can see the, the plastic pipe there, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, we kind of well, I forgot it, where it gun. was. Yeah, and duck into so. it. Never mind, we've done it now. Yeah. But originally it was broke off by a digger, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, that's that's the rest of it there. Someone hit it with a digger and yeah. kind of messed it up. Never mind, it was so weird. Yeah, be careful not to hit it again. Oh, I've been up to me. Neck in water today, flooding the washroom. I don't know this. Looks like it'd be good for the garden and stuff. Oh, yeah. End of the giant vegetable growing competition. <laughs> Pumpkins, tomatoes. Mix in with the tote bed. <laughs> right. Oh, blew the cobwebs out. I'll set out a shovel, Tom, please. Yeah. We dug about a tonne of dirt away before we realised where the pipe actually came out. <laughs> I said, Dad, My I fault. think it's the other side. <laughs> My fault. Yeah, you can never tell him it's wrong. Oh, at least we know where it is. Yeah, maybe let it sort of, the water drain away a little bit. Yeah. And then we can, but like you can see where the water's coming up. It's coming up sort of there, isn't it? Yeah. So it's probably deeper than the water level currently shows. A little bit, yeah. We dug quite a 
quite a lot of soil. Yeah, this side onto it. I so think when we was there. So yeah, we're kind of moving it twice, aren't we? Which you always told me never to do. Yeah, if you can help it. I'll slim into that t-shirt now, wouldn't I? Yeah. Oh. Mind you, it was extra small that one I tried on. <laughs> That's why it looks so tight. Don't think we do extra small, I think it's just small. <laughs> Shrunk in the wash. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Sean's world. Yeah. yeah, look, was right. Oh, can we have this on camera? <laughs> Thank you very much. I was right. Yeah, but it's this side. It's coming that way. Uh. Oh, so what I got was like the the tip of the. Uh, see? Yeah. Just make sure that's on record, Jasmine, because <laughs> me being right. We both it's, right. Yeah, it's kind of like the meeting point. Well, it's here. It's the end of it, going that way. Mm. Which means there's a lot of digging to do. Does it? Hope you've had your breakfast and lunch, Tom. Oh. I'm kind of feeling a bit sick today. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> bit of a migraine. Yeah. He will have once you finish this. <laughs> it's like glue. Mm. Maybe it'd be an idea to let the water run away a little bit. Well, you've got to kind of create the environment so it can run away, otherwise, yeah. you just see it as a puddle, it's clay. Yeah, true. But it will soak away because we've dug it all up and loosened it all up. I suppose over the years, you know, the earth falls down the side and slowly creeps in, so. Mm. It was an important job. Better to do it now than in the summer. Now I've had a bit more of a dig down and I'm pulling out quite a lot of root at the end of the pipe so it should start flowing better now. now lots of people have asked do you turn the volume up on the bird song? And the answer is no we don't. I don't know whether the camera picks up on those frequencies more than my monotone voice but obviously I can't compete with a bird. Anyway, it's nice to be here, ain't it? That's what's come out of the pipe so far. So this area here, I dug all that out. I was convinced it was here. It kind of is, but it's way down there. So, you know, it's handy to have a step down to here to maintain it and keep it clear. So, not too bad. Here comes the cavalry. Come bearing refreshments. Oh, what you got there? A cup of tea? Yeah, this is a nice mug. I haven't <laughs> noticed it before. Haven't we you? Who yeah. designed that, I wonder? I, I'm not sure, but I think they've got very good taste. <laughs> yeah, I designed that, didn't I? <laughs> yep, so if someone wanted to buy one of these, where could they find it? Welcome to seansworld.com. <laughs> Lovely. <There you> go. <laughs> they know that by now. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh, well earned drink. Should we sit down? Definitely. That looks inviting. I've never hardly sat on here at all. Should take the time, shouldn't we? Oh, lovely view. Yeah, I think I need some new boots. <laughs> okay, we've had our tea. Let's get back to that digging. Mm. So this is the route. I've already pulled out quite a few feet. Oh, it's still coming. It's still coming out. Is that the end of it? never the truth. It's still coming out. It must have been 12 foot long. Oh, gee. Oh, I've got a valve that went on the end of this before the soil caved in on it. Non return valve. Oh, anything below your knees is really hard to dig. <laughs> right, cut. Right, that's enough of me digging for the film. Can we bring the extras in now? Yeah, you have a go. Yeah, right. On the extras. I did some as well, didn't I? Yeah, of course you did, yeah. Yeah. Just waiting for you to find some gold. Oh, black gold. Yeah. Or oil. Some hidden artifacts. I don't want no Oops. hidden artifacts coming out this end. <laughs> oh, thank you. Snap that shovel. Mm. It's that little system. Right, I think I'll just let that drain off a little bit now. It's getting a bit, a bit wet. 
Now if you would have asked me this morning what did I envisage doing today, <laughs> it certainly wasn't this but hey you know you just don't know what the day's going to chuck at you. I knew I had to change the washing machine, I had that organised anyway but it's weird because that valve, I'd not that long ago changed it because I had a problem with one, put a new one on, turn it off, undone that end of the pipe, undone that one, wash out it come and it did come out. Anyway, clean the floor. So yeah, didn't know I'd be wading about in water <laughs> and then uh, then doing this. But like I say, you just have to take each day as it comes. This is just some of the rocks that I dug out of that floor in the cottage at the back. I mean, they come in handy, you know. I will utilise them. And there's just a little bit of the, the soil. I spread that out and put some more hardcore over the top. That can pack down. And it'd be nice to get the the front of this complete up to the edge there. So yeah. That's on the list as well, but not today. Okay, that is it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.